Oh, oh, I wish you could smell it. It is unbelievable, Chef. Jay Jones is back. And yes. look at this. You have made the meal of all meals in record time. Just a few minutes. Exactly right. The Instant Pot is phenomenal. You know, it doesn't... You tell me when to stop, because I'm going to keep... Oh, that's plenty. <laughs> that's plenty. We'll give that one to yeah, Sally. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I got three <laughs> you know, oh, uh, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, three spoons. Right. Um, you know, the Instant Pot is super that's fast. That's plenty. And, um, it lets you pretty much cook anything really quickly. Uh, what we've done here is we have a little um, chili bar mm -hmm. where now after you get your bowl of chili, you can add some cheese. I have some jalapeno cheddar cornbread, some avocado, of course some Fritos for the top of that. Yes. Now, I like the avocado idea because I've, I've never done that before yes. and I'm going to try that. What a great idea. Yeah, and for people that like, um, that are on keto, they can mm -hmm. do this without the beans mm -hmm. and then add in the avocado for some nice good fat in there mm -hmm. you know um, the sour cream the cheese everything except the beans if you're doing keto okay. or something like that so it's this is optional such a fun idea too to have a chili bar so that everyone in the family mm -hmm. it seems like everybody always likes something a little different and yes. then this has got the yes. Yes. Right. okay and what about your cornbread how did you do that it looks so moist so my cornbread's always all dried out looking oh, so <laughs> what's the my secret? problem here's the secret I add in cream style corn into oh, my oh, that's yeah. what the okay. deal is that keeps it nice and moist. Mm -hmm. It keeps it really mm -hmm. good. But the last thing that I do after is either sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top mm -hmm. or a little bit of uh, white sugar on top. And that's pretty much mm -hmm. it. So remember, this it is, is amazing. Four alarm chili, so there's going to be a little spice to it. Okay. No. <laughs> no, it's very doable. I can't stand yeah. it. So, no, I'm just. Okay. Oh, wow. For anyone who they, who was not tuned in at the very beginning, can you just quickly go through the rest the recipe of what you put in here? Sure. So it in this so in our pot, we have our ground beef. We have uh, some onions, some tomato paste, diced tomatoes, garlic, cumin. Uh, we have um, chili powder, mm -hmm. paprika, and cayenne pepper. Mm. And I'll tell you, that is the mm. just the right amount of spice. It is. It's perfect. Actually. I love it. Because we don't even have anything to drink, and I'm okay. Mm. Oh, but, good, okay. But my taste buds are alive. It's yes. perfect. Mm. And then you just add everything right in, stir it up. I added my beans. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's pretty much it. Put the top on, and 20, 25 minutes, um, depending upon if it is dried beans or... Um, uh, beans in a can. Mm -hmm. So 25 minutes if it's beans in a can. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, dried beans, then you add a little bit more liquid because okay. they're going to soak up all that liquid and it takes around 45 minutes. Cool. Wow. Give it's, you a pass for the beans yes. too. Okay. Yeah. 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 The beans make it. Jay Jones is the man. <laughs> and I tell you what, with the colder weather, this yes. is going to be picture mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Mike, we're going to need this one tomorrow. Oh, look. Well, listen, Sally.